Welcome, friends. This time, as you probably have figured out already, we're going to look at archery in Seven Days to Die. In archery, I will be including crossbow as well, even though I know that is a contentious subject as uh, to whether crossbows are really part of the archery skill profession, whatever, but I'm going to include it because it's all the same here. I'm going to go through the different bows, I'm going to go through the different ammunitions, the different skills and perks, and all of that. So if you like to use uh, silent, quiet, and pretty powerful ranged weapons in 7 Days to Die Alpha 18, do follow along. Of course, I really hope that you will hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so that you may, if you are lucky and win the YouTube notification game, get notified when I post a new video. And you should definitely follow me on Twitter and join my Discord. Links are on the top right of my channel page. Since the beginning, most players have been using uh, bows and the usual bows by you go punching your 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 grass, you'd be punching your wood, oh, if I can actually punch it, to get some more wood. Oh, look at that left hook. Uh, to get enough wood to actually craft your bow that is now called the primitive bow. Easy to craft, it's unlocked to everyone. We also have the wooden bow. We have a compound bow. There's a crossbow, there's a compound crossbow, and of course I mean the iron crossbow. There's also a bunch of ammunition that can be used, but let's take it from the beginning. So the first thing you do is obviously you craft your bow. You also want to craft your arrow, and by arrow I don't mean the arrow slit, uh, but I'm going to cover the arrow slit very very briefly because it's a, it's a really nice thing as well, whether you use the uh, the, the bow or something else in that it gives you really good visibility while you also have protection so always use the arrow slits no, I'm just kidding we don't care about the arrow slits this time but while you can craft the primitive bow you cannot craft the wooden bow or any of the other bows unless you actually find the unlocks so you do this by either finding the respective schematics you have the wooden bow schematic schematic you have the compound bow schematic compound crossbow schematic and the iron crossbow schematic you also can unlock it through archery and of course not all of them when it comes to the compound bows or crossbow you need to find the schematic you cannot unlock it through using your perks so those are sort of the high level high tier weapons that you find in that tree skill wise this is under agility so agility is the one that gives you better headshot damage and more dismember with bows handguns and knives so archery bows Pistols, revolvers, and knives, machetes go very, very well together. And the more you have, the better you are at it. So at this one, you do 300 headshot damage, 50% chance to dismember with both handguns and uh, knives. So that's really good. And if you look at this, the specific skill here, we have the archer skill. The first one allows you to craft quality two poor bows, deal 10 more damage. 10% faster aim, draw and reload with bows, and it unlocks the wooden bow and iron crossbow crafting. As you go down to the second level, you become an archer, you now can craft quality 3, but you also deal 20% more and you have 20% faster aim, draw and reload. On level 3, it obviously goes up another 10%, 30-30. 4 is 40-40 and of course you can craft the quality 5 bows unfortunately you cannot craft quality 6 so at the top level it deals 50% more damage and 50% faster to aim draw and reload with bows so I'm gonna buy one here and we should be able to now craft the wooden bow now the wooden bow requires bow and crossbow parts so you need to find some of this in order to actually craft it it's a little bit of a weird way of handling it in alpha 18 but ultimately they sort of gated it behind finding and scrapping or just finding these parts we can find a, a another crossbow you scrap it you'll get some bow or crossbow parts and you can use that to craft your own things and it's a little bit of a weird way of doing it because because usually on let's say early on you find a wooden bow that is quality too well wh why would you want to craft it you might as well just use it and repair it Maybe you find a quality three. And as you get better in your archer skill, two, three, four, now you obviously can craft much better ones. But by the time you do that, you have to be fairly high level. You have to put a lot of points into archery and, and agility. And by then, you probably already found a quality five or quality six bow, and you don't really care about crafting it. Honestly, I pretty much never craft weapons in uh, Alpha 18 because I always find better things that I can craft. But still, it's good to know. 
and it's the same here i can do the iron crossbow as well of course that one requires that workbench which of course i have one here so if i want to do the bow let me find the iron bow this one it requires some forged iron that i don't have on me but duct tape leather and wood Grim to bow is really the easiest one but you definitely want to get up and craft better bows so then how do you craft the compound bow and crossbow well unfortunately it means that you have to find or buy the respective books so if you read the compound crossbow schematic and of course you can sell it it gives you a fair bit of money you also get the ability to craft the compound bow so let me read this one now if i read this one now i can craft this as well as you can see they unlock here as well and it's also done in the workbench i'm going to craft one of this i'm going to craft one of this and obviously i can do this one as well and finally the iron crossbow of course i already have all of them so i don't really need to craft them so let's start off by looking at the different bows so we have the primitive bow it has a range damage of 28 Velocity 31 and max durability 150. Of course, that depends on the quality. Now, if we go up to the wooden bow, you'll see it gives extra damage. Of course, this is all also randomized to some degree, but it means that the wooden bow does more damage and it shoots faster, or rather, the projectile has a higher velocity, which means you don't have to lead the target as much. Compound bow, even better. It has better damage, better velocity, and more durability. And of course, this is all currently using the stone arrow. If I now switch to as you can see, or maybe you can't, uh, using the steel arrow, you'll see the damage is even better on the primitive bow, but it's gone up also on the wooden bow and on the compound bow. So better ammo deals more damage. You can see that if I go from stone arrow to the iron arrow to the steel arrow, of course we have the specialty items of the flaming and the exploding. So it used to be, I believe, but maybe they changed it at some point, that you could not use your flaming arrows and everything on your primitive bows, but it seems that works just fine now for some reason. It used to be if you wanted to use your steel arrows or your exploding arrows, that you could only do that on the compound bow, but that is no longer the case. So ultimately, it's a matter of the damage. The primitive wooden bow is not as good damage as the compound bow, and also the velocity and the durability and especially the velocity is actually fairly important because it means it shoots faster so it's easier to hit things so what about the crossbow well i now have the iron crossbow which is using the stone bolt it uses bolts and not the arrows and you can see if i look stone arrow versus bolt the bolt one is about seven more iron arrow the iron bolt is 10 damage more steel arrow versus the steel bolt again the steel bolt is better and you'll notice also on the steel ones for both the steel arrow and the bolt it has a target armor penetration so if you're going to shoot at armor targets such as uh, the soldiers or the demolishers etc make sure you use the steel bolts or the steel arrows but either way the arrows are not as good as the bolts however you shoot faster with a bow than you do with a crossbow in general so comparably the iron crossbow does 38, but the wooden bow does only 31. The compound crossbow does 47, but the compound bow only does 36. So definitely the crossbows are better, but they are slower. On the other hand, they allow you to load and then you can run around and then shoot. And then you can reload and then you can keep running and you can just shoot. You can't do that with a bow because you have to run, then you have to knock and shoot. You run, then you knock and shoot. So the bow is slightly easier if you're just running and gunning however it's not as fast let's have a comparison here's the primitive bow i shot him Oof, thank god i hit him let's use the wooden bow looks slightly differently and let's see if i can hit him as hit him as well yep and here we have that compound bow the compound bow comes with a better sight so it's a little bit easier to actually hit uh, let's look at the iron crossbow fairly easy to aim and shoot with we have the common crossbow which is uh it feels like it's not as easy to aim with because this one at least has sort of the the sight marks up ahead this one uh, maybe it doesn't the same way but it's again does more damage so it's really good at shooting at targets for it and as always headshots are good because as you remember 
if you have this one up to five it deals 50 percent more damage and the agility itself does 300 percent more headshot damage so headshots are always to be preferred then let's look at the specialty so we have the flaming arrow so let's look at the flaming arrow which has 25 damage it does 120 fire damage so if i shoot one of this let's just do in the belly there it should actually end up killing the zombie and let's see have a look at the damage here 53 39 35 30 25 20 15 10 5 dead it does actually kill it because it does the combined hit damage plus the fire damage just fairly good to do actually and one of the good things about the new version of alpha 18 as opposed to the previous version is that you the fire that is there let's see the fire that you can barely see here is not covering the sights as it did previously in previous versions it was sort of like this huge flames you barely could see anything it was sort of like like this like you couldn't see what you're aiming at because the flame was just all over the place now much better you have the same respective flaming bolt which does more range damage but the fire damage is exactly the same and it burns for 14 seconds but what about the exploding so exploding arrows or rather exploding bolts was a go-to weapon for a lot of people now they've added exploding arrows as well to sort of even out uh, the choices and it's really looks really good 250 explosion damage for four explosion radius however so each of these ones have about 125 hit points so we'd imagine that if i shoot it it's a little bit offset maybe it's on purpose if i shoot there they all should die right and let's see one died um it's one of the things that it seemed to have happened and that uh, because of how the explosions work this one took 50 only this one took 90 this one took 100 this one took none this one took 90 and this one took about 60. so it only killed one in previous versions it would actually kill whole groups when you're just shooting in the middle like this but no longer so i would have to say myself that uh well you could kill them by simply hitting them direct if you can actually hit them direct but it's still a waste if you just shoot them in the head with a normal bolt you'll probably kill them anyway so wasting all that just on a exploding crossbow bolt because those ones aren't cheap let's look at this one this one requires one steel arrowhead eight gunpowder a duct tape each and some polymers now duct tape is really difficult to get in mass so it seems like it really has to be nerfed the flaming ones are all right however they also cost animal fat and everything else is fairly easy to get in big quantities but animal fat is not which means that well why not just shoot with a regular ball so the arrows why would you worry about crafting this flaming ones when yeah sure they will have a guaranteed kill but it's going to cost you so much resources and of course it's the same thing for the arrow if i'm using the exploding arrow it works pretty much the same it goes boom but yeah it's still a real expensive for what it does but that's not all there is to it there is more to unlock in alpha 18 we also have all these books and the specific one is ranger's guide to the archery and uh, some of them are good some of them are less good but let's look at them from the beginning the first one allows you to retrieve 20 percent more arrows so one thing that you'll see is that if i shoot a couple of times here one let's see make sure i don't kill him here it should be good you'll see some of the shots or at least one out of the ones that i i, I just shot at him so they'll stick in the target and you can actually pick them up now it looks like Maybe the latest patch does not allow you to pick them. Oh, I can. I can pick them up even while he's alive. It just doesn't give me the pickup sign. It means that if you shoot him and you kill him, well, you just go up and pick up your arrows. Oh, two. So you save yourself from making a lot of new arrows. And that's exactly what the book volume one does. It allows you to retrieve 20% more arrows, meaning they don't break. The second one allows you to craft the exploder and arrows and cross bubbles, which I thought was really good, but eh in actual practices seem to be not terribly good three is fairly good though it does allow you to slow your opponent by hitting leg shots so if you do accidentally hit him in the leg which does less damage i believe it's 50 percent at least it slows him down or well, the fourth one allows you to craft armor piercing steel arrows really good and I, I believe that includes the bolts five crafting flaming arrows and crossbow bolts again not terribly exciting six uh, not really interesting either degrading 20 percent slower doesn't make such a huge difference because you're not going to be shooting thousands and thousands of arrows a day anyway 
Seven though is good. Sneak attacks have a 20% greater chance of knockdown. And of course, when you complete all, you can ball craft arrows and bolts. I'm gonna quickly just read through all this one to make sure I have them and. And ball crafting means that instead of making one steel arrow, requiring one uh, one steel arrowhead and two scrap polymers, I can make 100, but I only pay for 80, so it does give you a discount on it, which can be fairly useful. But wait, there's more! The good thing about high quality bows, though, is that beyond that, they're actually doing more damage. And of course, this one has a high damage because it's using a, a exploding bolt. Let's change it to normal one. Be beyond having a higher damage, a tier 1 uh, combine bow will do less damage than the tier 6 normally. It also allows you to modify and has modification slots. So let's do the compound bow. Let me put in the polymer string, which allows them to fly quicker and further. And I put that in. You'll see the projectile velocity went up and the damage also went up. We also have the arrow rest mod. Put that in. Damage went up. Now, the other two ones I would recommend putting in, if you have it, is Rad Remover. It disables the regeneration of ability while well, radiated zombies for 90 seconds. Fairly good. We also have the Cripple M. 20% chance to cripple leg on a bipedal target. So put it in. Now, all of a sudden, we do 58 as opposed to 45. So it's a, quite a big difference. Let's do some target practice here. So I have uh, this lady here at 10 meters. And... Missed. Okay, I, I guess I'm not really good at archery. There we go. At least this one I got. So headshot killed her. Not bad. Now the second one is 20 meters. Let's see if I can get that. Oh, not bad. I managed to do that one. Third one. Oh, now we're getting a little bit further. Why? Why not switch to the crossbow? The compound crossbow has a range damage of 66. But let's modify it. So let's uh, put in the scope. It can have a 2x scope or 4x scope or reflex sight. Let me also put in the Rad Remover mod and the Cripple M. If we now look at the damage, it's 80. Definitely better. And if I zoom in here, you'll see I now have the Reflex Sight. So the crossbows allows you to use sights on, which can be really helpful. Let's have a look at using the 2x scope. Better, isn't it? If you want to shoot further distances. Ooh. Shot him in the head, but I didn't kill him. He's still fairly far away at 30 meters. But we can even put in the Force 4x scope. Let's do that. Let's see if we can zoom in. Oh yeah, even better. So now once you are doing this, you can definitely miss them uh, just like before. So if you're a really good shot that I'm not, then you probably can do much better with the crossbow. But putting a nice... Oh, I even hit her there. Putting a, a nice 4 scope is really good if you are shooting from a distance and if you kneel down you even get can get the sneak damage and you can kill them even easier i uh, do this on my server by putting on all this on my bows because bows are silent they will not wake up zombies generally because they're counted as silent weapons and with the scope you can actually do fairly well even at a distance so now we have a demolisher over there oh you see it took Almost 110 damage there. Oh, another one. And oh, we killed him. Wow. I did almost 900 damage by headshot. No. Oh, that, that, that seems improbable. 900 damage with a compound crossbow. Let's try this again. Okay, so let's see how much damage I did here. No. Oh, then again, I wasn't uh, kneeling down. Maybe that might, makes a difference. Sneak damage. Okay, that's really weird. How did I actually get do 900 damage to him? Even now, I'm only doing about 320. I have no idea how that happened. And if you're good at shooting, you can even set off the demolisher charge. Just make sure you do that outside of your base. Another perk that is interesting is the Perception Penetrator, where it says that you can find weak spots in the armor and you can use armor piercing rifle bullets to shoot through multiple targets. However, as you notice here in the description, it says it includes firearms and archery. So the more you have, and in this case I have up to five, you can ignore 35% with of armor with the archery as well. And if we look at the Bolts as well, they have minus 20% armor. So together, I believe that's minus 55% armor. 
the demolisher have 60% armor, so the armor almost does not count. That's definitely a useful skill to pick up, at least up to level 3. Further useful skill is Hidden Strike under Agility, so this is the same one as you're doing for Archie as well, is the Hidden Strike because Cutthroat, Butcher, Executioner, Cold-Blooded Killer and Assassin increases your sneak attack damage. So imagine having a normal 2x uh, multiplication, meaning 200% extra damage, you're down to Assassin and now you're doing 400% extra damage because you're sneaking. Do that with a headshot and you're doing massive amount of damage. Of course, I would not be recommending using archery during Blood Moon's Horde because they are firing way too slow to really do it. Uh, it's going to be really hard to avoid them and shoot even uh, if you have really perked up and you, know, it, you, just can't get, uh, you just can't get the output of damage that you need to survive. And this is with really good armor, skilled up and yeah, not good enough. So do go forth and enjoy your archery. It's definitely powerful early, mid game, late game, maybe not as much, but it's still fun to use. Play around with the normal bows or the crossbows and find the one that you like best. And of course the different ammo types. Maybe you like the exploding bolts and arrows better than I do. But definitely mod them. I love to put sights on my crossbows. If you're still here, a big thank you. Do make sure you subscribe, like the video, and uh, let me know in the comment section below if you use bows and how you use them. What's your tactics? I'll catch you next time. Special thanks to the great patrons supporting the channel. If you would like to join the vetted community and support these videos, do follow the Patreon link.